Hey Ross World, my money makes money. Randomness. That's what this video is basically about, randomness, right? I'm gonna talk about a slew of different things, but I'm not going to stay long in one topic at all, right? So right now, my son, who is <clears throat> old enough to go to college, well, he'll be going to college here after the summer, and I'm trying to help him to pick a college, but solely it's his decision everything is his decision he is the he, he is the uh a narrator he is the director he is a producer of his own future the only thing i'm going to tell him is to do what research of uh, what do you want out of that college because at first he wanted to have a degree in communications now he wants to be an engineer of some sort okay he wants to go into cyber security Hey, I was like, hey, that particular field makes a lot of money, okay? But be happy about it. It's all about happiness as you're making money. Randomness. What else I got? So, recently I did a car teaser and somebody actually named my car, right? They probably saw the emblem. They probably saw whatever. But this is the thing. I'm just going to let you know I'm going to do a regular car video, but I'm going to let the cat out of the bag right now. It's a 2015 Genesis G80, okay? But when they first made it back in 2015, it was simply a Hyundai Genesis 3.8 liter, okay? I don't have the ultimate package. I don't have the technology package. I have the signature package. Now, one of my subscribers... He just listed in one of the comments, he said, it's a $74,000 car. <laughs> uh-uh. I don't have that, I don't have that type of money to buy a freaking car that's $74,000. But what I will tell you is that the car was listed for $45,000, but I bought it for $38,000. That's right. It was a brand new car and I negotiated the price because I already knew that the price was going to do what? Drop 30%. So there's no way I was going to pay $45,000. I said, oh, well, the destination fee. Uh, I didn't tell you to take the, um, excuse me. I didn't tell you to deliver the car here. Why am I going to pay a destination fee? So you deliver the car to this position. No, 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 no. Never pay the destination fee, guys. Always negotiate against the destination fee, which is around $900 to $1,000. Don't ever pay that, okay? First and foremost, don't ever pay that. Secondly, never, ever pay sticker price. Never. You can always negotiate on a new car because the percentage that they upcharge it, right? They upcharge it like... 800 to a thousand percent so the amount that you see is not the amount that you can actually pay for granted once again my car was forty five thousand i paid thirty eight thousand almost ten thousand dollars all the price all the price here's another ticker in that same category buy a car late or early the next year, but late in the season. So if you can find a car late 2018, about to go into 2019, or 2019's is on the car lot, right? You can get the car for cheaper. You can negotiate it for a cheaper price. Now, granted, I encourage you to buy a new used car. That's a new used car. A car that has less than 40, 50,000 miles on it that's pre-certified through that dealer because it's still going to have a warranty. But if you end up doing what I did and you bought a new car, make sure you don't pay the sticker price. Okay. I'm going to try, next topic, I'm going to try to go into dollar store for some of you bougie people out there and show you all the wonders that the dollar store has to offer. You can go up and down the lanes. Like if you need a gift bag, the dollar store has it. If you need seasonings, 
some of the seasonings the dollar store have, garlic salt or garlic powder, you don't need to go get Laurie's or, or, or all the seasonings from uh, Kroger or Safeway or Albertsons or Giant or whatever, or Food Lion. It doesn't matter. You can go to the dollar store and get these things. Uh, dustpan and broom. Cleaning supplies. They have name, brand, cleaning supplies. I'm going to step away. Hold on. Dollar store. Ajax. Now, that was just a small example of the many things that the dollar store has to offer. Now, it may be the dollar store or Dollar General. Now, Dollar General can get you in trouble because Dollar General, I don't even know what that's about. <laughs> things be well over a dollar. Okay, I'm off of it. If you notice, my backdrop has changed. So recently, I just sold my house. I'm in an apartment, and I plan on staying here for a half a year, maybe up to a year. I don't know yet, but I, I plan on buying another house when it's financially feasible. Because I'm going to tell you with renting, if you're renting and you know you have the capital, you have the money to rent a home, I mean rent a home, to buy a home, and your credit is fairly decent, then try to buy a home. Because we all know what renting is, right? A black hole. You're putting your money in a black hole. What does that mean? It's money that you are putting in a non-investment account. When you buy a home and you put money inside the home and you pay your mortgage, you are investing in your home. You are raising the value. You are, uh, uh, you are saving and accumulating the, the equity and the escrow of the home for when you sell the home, it's worth more than what you bought it for. But when you rent, guess what? You're helping somebody to pay their bills. You are. You're helping someone to pay their bills. You're helping someone to pay off their house, to pay off their condo, to pay off their trailer park, to pay off their duplex. That is not what you want to do. That is not what you want to do. So you're thinking like this, right? You're saying, hey, next topic. I pay a lot in medical fees. Why? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you working out three or four days a week? Are you watching what you put in your body? Because quite frankly, over the past year, I got fat. Okay, now you may say, hey, I'm not in shape. Okay, and I'm still strong, but I'm not in the shape I once was. I gained a couple pounds, <clears throat> 25 to be exact. I gained a couple pounds and now I'm doing ketosis with intermittent fasting. So I ate, I eat once a day, like today, but I ate really good. Let me tell you, I had some steak, I had some lobster, I had some broccoli and I had some cauliflower and I had two eggs, but that's the, but see, that's the thing. That's the only meal I had in the whole 24 hours. Okay. And so what you heard was mostly protein, some fat with the, the ribeye and uh, veggies, okay? So protein with the egg, protein with the steak, and then veggies. That's all I really had. And guess what? Today, I really didn't get hungry until around three or four o'clock. Randomness, right? Randomness, I'm, I'm all over the place. But let, let me tell you this, when it comes to health, it doesn't matter how much money you save, it doesn't matter how much money you have. If you're not alive, to spend it, if you're not allowed to allocate it, if you're not allowed to have fun with it, what is it all about? What is it all about? Take care of yourself, Ross World. Take care of yourself. Now, as we get older, we need to start securing things. Next topic, securing funds in our savings and investment account. And these last few days, right, this last week, the stock market has been, don't look at it. Let them talk about how the stock market and the Dow Jones has lost 
a thousand points or a hundred, whatever percentage, whatever. Just say whatever, cause you know those rich people ain't gonna let the stock market fail. They will get their money back. Okay, that's why I always tell you do your research and um, 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 invest in solid and solid companies. Invest in solid companies. When Goldman Sachs went all the way down, guess what I did? I paid, I bought some stocks for Goldman Sachs. The ticker, GS. I bought me some stocks. Goldman Sachs, they ain't go nowhere. Their stock price went down. I made money when it hit rock bottom. Now, it didn't zero out, but it, re it went really low. I made some money because I kept them people. Don't look at the stock market and like, I lost money. Check out my video that you didn't lose any money. You didn't lose any money. Your portfolio lost value. Randomness, right? Randomness. I'm going to leave it at that. We already 11 minutes. I'm going to let you look at this video and all the little short snippets that I gave you. The only thing I want you to do is think about it. And if, it, if you can apply it to your life, I want you to apply it to your life. If not, give me a thumbs up. If so, give me a thumbs up. This is Raw Squirrel. My Money Makes Money, where this video wasn't really about anything. It was just about anything I can think of. <laughs> I'm out.